All right, guys. Yesterday, Tanya stated that she was not a morning person. So this morning, I got up. I took our little girl out. I gave her her food and water. I boiled up some water. I turned the heater on so that the house is warmed up. And I am now doing some pour over coffee. It's a little cold out. It's supposed to possibly snow today. So the heater and some coffee will help wake that one up. Let's see what happens. Oh, sweet pea. Thank you. I'm not sure it worked. We'll see. Good morning, beautiful people. <laughs> Oh, wow, my hair looks amazing today. Uh, so Dustin made me coffee this morning, and as you can tell, I am very chipper about it. So coffee is my thing. I love coffee, and I have not had coffee in probably what a week. Oh, I, yeah, yeah a couple it, weeks. Couple weeks. That's not like we've me. We've been too tired. We've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have. We've been we've been drinking the energy drinks, and so to have a nice warm cup of coffee this morning because it is cold out it just warms my soul anywho i'm awake i am bright-eyed i'm in a great mood today and now i gotta clean because this this is what happens when we got back late last night and uh cooked dinner netflix and chilled and went to bed so um that's on the list of things to do. I'm going to get this bus back in order and check the agenda to see what we have going on today. The workout today is 300 walking lunges. Yowza, yowza. That's gonna hurt because after yesterday's workout, if you did not follow along, I will post that so you can catch it on the flip side. But we did some much leg work yesterday, so I'm a little bit sore. So this is gonna be fun, and we'll take you with us. So for all the ladies out there who struggle with hot flashes, I feel your pain. I am hot. I am cold. <laughs> We literally have the heater running. It is freezing outside and my blood is boiling right now. And I just wanted to share that. So, I feel your pain. Let's get through this together. All right, so we just finished our workout. Sorry, it's a little windy, so I hope this picks up okay. Um, we did 300 walking lunges. It was brutal. In a row. Yeah, in a row, we went from basically this line here all the way down to the sidewalk or over by that house and back and then back again so we left journey in her kennel while we worked out um, we're really trying to work on the separation anxiety and letting her feel comfortable comfortable in her crate and self soothe is how Dustin puts it um, okay we so did. we talked to a trainer yesterday i don't remember if i said anything about this or not i think we did but, but yeah i talked to a trainer yesterday she said we're actually right where we need to be it's, it's not necessarily separation anxiety it's just she's a puppy and everything's new to her yeah and so yeah we're just kind of working on a few things um but, but she, she said she's actually like probably ahead of where she should be yeah. because she already understands sit and and lay down and shake Mm -hmm. and get in your kennel and her name and things like that. So she's actually probably ahead of where she's supposed to be at like nine and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. So that put us at ease a little more and now we just keep working with her. For sure. And she's definitely, every day she gets a little bit better and a little bit better. Um, one thing that we, we had stopped doing was putting her in the bed with us. Um, early in the early hours basically we leave her now in the kennel until it's time to actually get up um they say that that will definitely help with some of that 
and she's been doing really good. So now that we've had her up in her kennel while we did our workout, we are taking her out, letting her play, run around, and get some of her exercise because with her breed being a very active breed, it's important for us to make sure she is getting exercise and plenty of it, and that will definitely help with a lot of her um, hyperness and her anxiety. you have some sort of food from when you were a child that is something that you absolutely just love even to this day for me it's corn dogs and although I'm trying to be plant-based I found some of these field roast mini corn dogs we are gonna try them for lunch and they are plant-based yeah. Yeah, it didn't. You didn't make it sound like that. Oh. You said even though I'm trying to be plant-based, like like they weren't. No, no, don't stop. Okay. What just happened? I don't know. Yeah. So the way you said it. Yeah. You said even though I'm trying to be plant-based. Okay. And then so even though <laughs> they're not the real deal, we're doing plant-based mini corn dogs. We're gonna give them a try. See if they taste anything like what I remember. And if not, it doesn't matter. But corn dogs are my thing. I like corn dogs for some reason and I don't get them but like once every seven years. So we're whipping up some lunch and then we're gonna go shopping. All right, here is our beautiful, delicious looking lunch. So we have corn dogs, we have fried potatoes with onion and broccoli. Is that all that's in there? Fried potatoes, onions, and broccoli, yep. Yeah. So, without further ado, let's try these corn dogs. Mm-hmm. That's pretty dang good. So we told you that we were going to possibly finish up some of the curtains today. Well, what that means is, let me show you here. So Dustin has built out frames, oops, let me turn that there, frames for each of our windows. And so now, today, we are working on this side. So we are sitting in the Home Depot parking lot. We're gonna build out the rest of these frames and then we are going to put up curtains. So it's been a long time coming. The curtains are, they have been the biggest stress I think in this whole bus build process. But anyway, we're sitting in the Home Depot parking lot, but check this out. It is freaking snowing. It has been quite some time since Dustin and I have witnessed snow. I don't think we've even seen snow yet this year. So, anyway, I don't think it's much. Um, I think it's just supposed to be a little dusting. But anyway, that is what we are up to now. So he's gonna build out some window frames. I'm gonna get to work to edit the vlog for today and then get started on your guys' vlog for tomorrow.
So as you can see, Dustin has bought this nice long bar. The bus is in construction mode. And what are we about to do? Hang up a curtain rod. Yep, so we're gonna hang up the curtain rod all along here. So, let's get to it. Laying down in bed. Making a mess Making in a my bed. Tanya hates that. If there's one thing that Tanya absolutely hates about me, it's that I just get to work and I make a mess of shit. And that drives her nuts. It drives me crazy, not gonna lie. All right, friends, we now have curtain rods. No curtains, curtain rods. So. Black iron, bolted on, floor flange, curtain rods with 90s. It matches the rustic, it matches the farmy fresh, and they are all the way around. Ingenuity. The 10 foot rods were like 1697. So for two, I got ended up buying basically, virtually, I ended up buying three 10 foot rods for 48, we'll call it $50. One actual curtain rod was $29.99, but that came with all the things. So then I had the the floor flanges and the 90s. So realistically, probably a bust as far as generic curtain rods or freaking bitchin' black iron custom made curtain rods. And I like custom. All right guys, we got a ton of work done on the bus today with the curtain rods and framing all the wood out for the windows. I uh, just got done making some delicious looking curry mix uh, that we picked up at Costco. Hopefully it's delicious. Tomorrow is a huge day for us. We got some big surprises, some things with Journey. Um, she's a little wound up today. We were busy, so she didn't get a ton of exercise. So she's a little wild, but I think right now she's actually out cold. So she's hard to she's hard to guess. We'll just have to see how tonight goes. And with that, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We are going to eat. We're I'm hungry. Starving. We've only ate once today, so we're gonna enjoy our dinner. Enjoy our big screen. Big screen Netflix. <laughs> Watching the Ozarks right now. If you yeah. haven't watched the Ozarks, it's a good show. We make it about half an. I make it about half an episode, and then I fall asleep. And I just keep watching because I don't even care. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys for watching. Love you. Spread love.